Well, if you're looking to get away from it all this weekend and do something outdoors, you might want to try Craig Lake State Park. ABC 10's Danielle Davis went off the beaten path to explore this quiet and unique state park as part of our continuing Northern Exposure series. Craig Lake is one of Michigan's most remote state parks and is very secluded. If you're driving off US 41, you might even miss the turnoff to the park. The road is only open during certain months because the terrain can be pretty rough going. But I hear the fish are well worth the trek. Some really big muskies. I mean, I've heard, heard stories where guys have caught this huge, huge muskie in a canoe and um, drag it over the canoe gunnel and the, it, the head is sticking on one side and it comes down into the canoe and it comes up the other side. So some really good fish stories coming from that lake. The park contains six full lakes with some only accessible by foot or boat. One of the very unique features here at Craig Lake is that it has two yurts. This is the Kuwaitan yurt located right behind me. Now if you're not sure what a yurt is exactly, well think of it as a very comfortable tent. A luxurious tent located in the middle of nature's wilderness wonderland. Hand built by DNR personnel, this yurt has layers of insulation, four bunk beds, a wooden table and chairs. It comes with a skylight to capture sunsets and rises, along with a wood burning stove. Craig Lake also has 8,000 acres of wilderness and a variety of wildlife to explore. Really the hiking, really the scenery, the waterfalls, the sort of hidden uh, wilderness areas, and we're always on the lookout for moose and bear, which we don't see often. Okay. I've seen one moose. I've seen one moose, uh, which was very exciting, but we're hoping maybe on this Craig Lake walk to perhaps see some, something else. We love the walks. The, we always come out to Craig Lake State Park every year for just the it's a wilderness area, chance to see wildlife, nice and quiet, get away from the city in North Carolina. and, and Michigan does such a good job with their parks and all compared to North Carolina. We just, we just like the wilderness aspect of it. This wilderness wonderland was once owned by the Miller Brewing family. In the late 1960s, it was acquired by the state of Michigan. In Berger County for ABC 10 and CW5 News Now, I'm Danielle Davis.